1,000 megahertz antenna will be smaller than a 500 megahertz antenna, right? which will be smaller than a 250, which will be smaller than a 100. Why? Well, as longer waves are produced, but how are the longer waves produced? That's right. That's right. It's exact, that's like the result of it. Yeah. You have to have a bigger surface area. To produce longer waves. Yes. And so what happens is, basically, the ways that the antenna works is it oscillates an electron back and forth. The faster it oscillates, right, the shorter the distance it oscillates, the faster it's producing a wave. That's why mm -hmm. it's a higher frequency. Yeah. That's why they're small, yeah. Well, they have high frequency. Because the thing's only going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth quickly. Right? And so for that one, it'd be even smaller than this, 2700, right? So it's super rapid, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, creating very short, right? Its period is short, high frequency, right? Because it's flipping back and forth, great resolution. 250, on the other hand, right, or 400, but that's why it's a much larger antenna. It just takes longer. And that's why you've got the mallet like that. Exactly, exactly. And so it's oscillating back and forth slower, Right, because it's got a longer distance to travel, creating a, uh, a, a, a lower frequency but a longer wavelength. Right? Yeah. So every oscillation basically produces a wave. Right, so faster, yeah. right, shorter wavelengths, slower, longer wavelengths. Okay, same energy. So shorter to longer, right, as far as wavelengths, right, shallower to deeper, finer to coarser. Um, I will, I will bring one other thing up though, which is that your 450 or your 2700 does not only put out a 450 or a 2700. So your 450 puts out a range of frequencies. Okay, it puts out a range of frequencies. Okay, so maybe you were never told this before. So when you put out a pulse, the 450 or whatever number they give you for your antenna is just known as the central frequency. Okay? Central frequency. A system generally puts out 50% plus minus whatever your central frequency is. So your 450, now if it's an ultra broadband, which sometimes the molin create, okay? And it might be because they have the thickening of it. It could produce even more. But generally, it's going to be about plus minus 50%. So in reality, a 450 is actually putting out, okay, up to, um, there'll be another two and a quarter. So it's like 675. And it'll put down as far as um, 225. So like the double antenna of the IDS, like it's the, two of those. The two antennas are like the difference is trying to yeah, get the difference overlap. Between, and then They're over, that's why they choose those specific. You have a DF also. You said right. So DF is 800, 300, which is pretty that's similar. similar yeah. They're trying to get that right, that whole band, right. So in that case, what they're trying to do, I didn't know that. uh huh, is well, and, and here let me just say this point, point first of all, is this is what you're getting, okay. That's the best part of that frequency, though. It's it's the it's the most frequent frequency that it puts out. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. It's the most frequent frequency that it puts out. But you'll get this range. Now this could be beneficial. Why? Because let's say you have a small target, right. a little too small for the 450 to see. Yeah. You're not saying to your system really just put out a 600 to 675, right? That, yeah. But because it puts out this range, you might be able to see something a little bit smaller. Right in in, in kind of in, in this area yeah. than you would expect, and under some conditions you might see a little bit deeper yeah. because it's got that range. You see what I mean? Yeah. Right now, what happens, which we'll get into on the third day, is you have the option sometimes on a system, not all systems, but most post-processing softwares, to go back in and define your range. Because now think about it. Right now you've got. 225, you know, to 675, um, you know, and so let's say that you have, uh, uh, you know, right, aviation, right? You're at a, an airport, okay. and it's just sprouting in, you know, signal towards you, right? And you know it's on this low end. What you can do is you can chop this part off and say, forget it. I'm not even going to look at anything below 300. 
See what, see what I mean? Yeah. Okay? And just, you know, kind of get in on that range over there. Uh, um, so it's a central frequency, and it puts out a range of actual frequencies. Um, put, so if you have a, a multi-frequency system, right, which several of you have, um, yeah. And so with those dual frequencies, by the way, just right. So what you'll have is a, you know, 250 and a 700, right? So plus minus, that means, you know, this thing would be, right, or whatever. And so this would go from 250 to, uh, how do you say, 375 and 125, right, give or take, right? So that's kind of the range here. Then this one, right? So it was 1050 to... Yeah, exactly, right? So it would be... So that those so it would really be like right. It would be so those common frequencies are two fifty and seven hundred. Are they uh, measured at the peak of the wave, or is that is that how they've come up with that it's nice frequency? frequency. Yeah. Okay. So say say again. So oh, don't worry. No, no. Go ahead. What is, uh, what is it? I so, can't fully understand that either. Bridge. Yeah. So when they've measured two fifty and seven hundred, is that at the oh, at the peak of the wave? Yeah. Is that what they're? So th this is so so this right here. Right, this bell curve yeah, is yeah. the distribution. So they're saying, all right, let's run the thing and put out 10,000 pulses. So what we have over here is frequency on the bottom, right? Right? Yes. And what we have here, here is frequency, not in electromagnetic waves, but it's frequency as in, no, not even related to wave, just in count. Okay. It's the most one. popular. Most, right? So, so, so okay, so we'll, we'll call it popularity. Yeah. Okay? Is what we're going to say. Popularity. What does that mean? They take this antenna that they just made. They pulse it 10,000 times. How many times of that 10,000 did it actually produce a 700 yeah. frequency antenna? 700 megahertz frequency antenna. I don't know. Let's say 6,000. Right? Okay? How many times did it produce an 800? I don't know, maybe 1,000. And what about a 600? Maybe 1,000 times out of that 10,000. Yeah. How many times did it produce a 900? Right, maybe 500 times. How many times did it produce a, you know, a 700? Maybe 500 times. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not always producing a 700, right? So that's why these are the popular. That's why, so six. This is the most popular, right? So let's say this is 6,000, right? You know, 1,000, 2,000 times that that frequency was produced when they did their 10,000 experiments. That's what it is. It's a count of what the responses for the number of experiments there was.